Assalamualaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Qasim Shinwari and in these video tutorials I will guide you about Primavera project planner. In these tutorials I am using Primavera project planner version 3. So let's start its first tutorial. The first question is how to access Primavera. After installing Primavera, go to Start Programs Primavera and Primavera Project Planner. Click over it. It is the main window of Primavera Project Planner. Now let's add a new project. There are many ways to add a new pro project. First of all, press on this new icon or go to File and click on New or simply type Ctrl plus N. Let me click over the new icon. Okay, add a new project dialog box appears we have to start a project so let me assume the project name is home let me change it to house remember that the maximum characters in project name you can enter are four not more than four let's its version is 1 and project title is construction of a house let the company name is SJ group of contractors the planning unit is day but for mechanical engineers it's R as we are doing a project of civil engineering so let me modify it today work days per week are 6 and week start on Monday project start a date is ok a calendar is opened remember that these two double arrows are used to change the year while these two single arrows are used to change the month so let me choose 1st July 2008 click on OK and the project must be finished by February 2010 28th February 2010 decimal places are to its ok now click on add so a new window is opened you can see that all these menus these are known as main menus are, d are disabled to enable these menus press the escape key of your keyboard now we are going to add the activity id codes so go to data and click on activity codes there click on activity IDs to enter the codes click on plus icon and type face here again the maximum length is the maximum number of characters you can enter are 4 press enter keep length 1 highlight the description and type the complete spelling of face again press enter or click on check ok the number you enter in the length column will be equal to the number of characters you are going to add in the values as it is here in this case we have entered one so here the maximum character in the values column will be 1 so
so click over it save structure edits yes now the first is d press enter and its description will be de design phase again press enter and its order will be 1 means it's on top priority next value is C press enter click on the right arrow of your keyboard and type description of C which is construction field again press enter and its order will be second now the third value will be F which stands for finishing phase press enter and it will be on third priority now click on activity codes activity codes let me highlight the last one and delete them one by one you can delete by click on this minus icon or just by pressing the delete key of your keyboard leave the responsibility as we have to add the values of it so responsibility and change its length to 2 remember that less the number of characters in the values in name in length in description the more efficient primavera will work click on add save structure edits yes so the first responsibility is of honor press enter press the right arrow of your keyboard and then type the description honor again press enter and its order will be first second is architectural a r enter and its description is architect it will have second priority the third is contractor and it will be on third priority now close it and this data will be automatically saved to con you can confirm you can see that all the data is saved it's nice now let me save the project there are two ways of saving either you can press the save layout icon or press ctrl s of your keyboard let me give it title as shinwari click on save so this activity is now saved one thing you must remember that unlike other Microsoft projects this software has no undo command you can see in view or edit there is no undo command or either if you press this control Z it will be of no use so be aware if you have done a mistake there is no way to back and except you have to do your work again so that's the end of the first tutorial thank you and Allah Hafiz